Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What do I eat in a day? I'm going to show you. That's up next. Hello and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. My name is Maria and I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day. And I am going to start off by showing you my clay betonite water. Because this is it. And this is what I start off with every morning because I am allergic to the desert and clay betonite really helps me out. It's also great for detoxifying your system. So um, I basically put the clay betonite into a pitcher of water and I leave it overnight and then in the morning I drink the water that's on top. I don't actually drink the, um, uh, the clay that's at the bottom. But I seem to get quite a few little bits in there anyways. It's just an easy way to take it. So uh, here it is. It's a little bit cloudy looking, but that's because of the powder. So um, there's no taste to it. It's really quite easy to drink up. There's nothing strange. It tastes just like water. Uh, and I've gotten used to it. So that's how I start off my morning, sort of detoxifying and it really does help out my allergies. So that's what I start off with every morning. I do intermittent fasting and I am doing 10-14 today. So um, I'm going to be eating between the hours of 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. And um, it's 7 a.m. right now. So it's going to be a good hour here before I eat. I've got some water boiling on my stove right now because, well, on the verge, I'm making some tea. So when I wake up, it's usually clay betonite water and some sort of tea. Today it's a lemongrass rose hip tea until breakfast time. So here's my tea for the morning. It's lemongrass and rosehip and I really like it. I like the scent and I like the flavor and this is how I'm starting off my morning. I've got an hour before I eat so I'm going to go and drink some tea, do a little bit of meditating, get myself dressed up and then I'll have breakfast at 8. That's my sugar reading for today and it's pretty good. Not bad. I've been off diabetic medication for a while now. At one point I was doing 40 units of insulin a day as a type 2 diabetic. Today I have no need for any kind of diabetic medication but I do like to check about once a week to make sure that that things aren't um, going south for me. So, <laughs> so far so good. It's breakfast time and I'm going to be making some oatmeal and I'm going to be making a zucchini oatmeal. So, um, to start off with, all of my dry ingredients are in my pot. They include Scottish oats, ground flax, vanilla protein powder, as well as a dash of cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg. Yeah, so here it is. Now I'm going to grate up my zucchini. Here's my zucchini. I grated it up really, really fine, and now I'm going to be putting it into my oatmeal, and I'm going to cook it up and have it for breakfast. It's going to be yummy. And 
that's going to turn the whole thing a bit green. So it's breakfast time and my zucchini oatmeal is done. I know that sounds really, really weird, but it's actually really delicious, kind of like eating zucchini bread. So there is walnuts and raisins that I topped it with, as well as half a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses, which is why it looks really, really dark. But I happen to think it looks kind of pretty and it is really delicious. Blackstrap molasses on its own is kind of nasty tasting, but putting it into oatmeal or into something that needs to be sweetened, it's actually really delicious, almost like, almost like brown sugar. So it's a good substitute and at half a tablespoon, that's not bad as far as calories and sugar is concerned. So here it is. This is my breakfast for today. Check it out. It's a pretty green color. It's going to be yummy. Yeah. So I'm going to get started on that because I got to go out. Hey there, <laughs> it's lunchtime now, middle of the day, and I'm going to make some gazpacho. And it's gonna be a very quickie gazpacho, probably not your typical gazpacho, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and make it and show you what I'm doing. And I am going to be making a quick avocado spread that I'm going to put on some jicama chips because I really like that. So. Um, that's what I'm going to be having for lunch, so let me make it and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Just want to show you how I peel the jicama. Um, the first thing is, do not uh, wash it beforehand. It's just easier to peel it if it's dry. And for the most part, I use my hands and then what I'll do is I will use a peeler to take off whatever I wasn't able to do with my hands. So there's a little bit left here, so there we go. Just take off what's left. And then once it's peeled, then I go ahead and I wash it. Just to show you. How I do it because I find that it's a lot quicker if you're able to peel it by hand. Okay, so as you can see, that's pretty much peeled and looking good. Now I like to make big round tostada like things. I've washed my jicama. And I'm just going to show you that, just slice it down the middle, <laughs> if you can. This is why I always go for smaller jicamas, because I find that the larger the jicama, the harder it is to peel and to cut. And I don't want that, so. I usually get them small to medium and I'm just going to make slices here so that I can um, use them and I like to make them you know a little bit thick see this one's pretty thick and they're really delicious like this so here they are so I was getting the stuff together for my gazpacho and I don't have cucumber. I normally use cucumber in it, so instead I'm gonna be using a chayote, which this is what it looks like and um, it's quite big, so, uh, but it's delicious. And 
I think of chayote as a sort of like a, a Mexican cucumber, uh, almost like a squash. It's actually, I think, a squash, but um, it tastes more like a cross between a cucumber and a pear. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this. I'm going to take out the seed and then I'm probably going to put about half of this into my gazpacho. So here's my chayote and it's peeled and I'm just basically going to cut right down the middle. This right here is the seed and it's usually taken out before you eat it, but I've eaten it. It's okay. <laughs> if it's soft. Uh, sometimes it gets really big and really hard and you can't eat it. I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> take it out. Did you see that? So there it goes. And I'm just going to chop this up and put it into my gazpacho. So everything is in my blender now. There's tomato, red onion, jalapeno, garlic, cilantro, and chayote, which can easily be replaced with cucumber. I just didn't have any cucumber today, so it's chayote for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up, and this is going to be my lunch today. Okay, so it's lunchtime and my lunch is done. And as you can see, here is my gazpacho. And it's delicious. It's got a little bit of nutritional yeast on top and a little bit of radish. And then over here, I've got my jicama tostadas. Um, and I put a an avocado spread on top. And it's basically avocado, like half of a large avocado, with a teaspoon of chickpea miso, some lime juice, and I put that on the tostadas along with a little bit of that cracked red pepper that I love, and this is lunch. Yeah, so that's it. Nice, healthy, delicious. It's gonna be very filling, and I'm going to enjoy this, so this is my lunch for today. So here's my yerba mate latte. I like it hot or cold. It's just a really good drink. Today I went to Bonito Michoacan for dinner. It's a Mexican restaurant here in Las Vegas. They are not a vegan restaurant, but they do have a small vegetarian menu. These fajitas were delicious and my friend's vegetable enchiladas were pretty good too. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed my What I Eat in a Day video. Connect with me on social media and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Hasta luego!